So I tried making uh, this presentation on my phone using um, a drawing app and it kind of worked. Um, I was doing this instead of using the whiteboard in the classroom, but there was lots of rubbish and editing was pretty difficult. So I reverted to pen and paper. So enjoy. Okay, so the question has uh, two resistances in series. So there's one resistor, and there's another resistor. Let's connect those up in a circuit. Uh, so we have a voltage supply coming from a battery, and they're connected sort of like that. It tells us, uh, it gives us the values of the resistances. Now I'm going to change the values. I'm going to say that this one is um, a 6 ohm and this one is a 4 ohm resistor and I'm going to have an 8 volt cell. Okay, and the question asks, what would the volt uh, drop be across this resistance. Okay, so if we were to connect a voltmeter in parallel to this resistor, what would it show on that voltmeter? So we need to do um, an Ohm's law calculation. And essentially we're just focusing on this part of the circuit. So, um, we need to put into our triangle whatever information we've got here. So let's draw the triangle for a start. Okay, so there's my triangle. And uh, just in case you can't remember, it's volts, amps, and resistance in here. And uh, just based on this diagram, the only bit of information we've got for that part of the circuit, sorry, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, is that we've got a four ohm resistor. So let's put four in here. And the question is, what's the voltage? Right, so to find the voltage, we need to know the amperage and then we can multiply these to find the voltage. Okay, now the diagram on the question doesn't tell you the amperage. All right, now uh, amperage is a measure of current and the current, whatever's flowing here, will also be flowing here. So the current, the flow, at any point around this circuit, because it's a series circuit, will always be the same. Okay, so the current flowing through this part of the circuit, which is what we're trying to find out, will be the same as the current flowing anywhere else in the circuit. Okay, so we need to do another calculation to find out what the current is. Okay, so let's um, just move a bit more paper out of the way. So I had to go and get some more paper there. Right, okay, so for the whole circuit, we know that we've got an eight volt supply and we know that we've got two resistors in series, so the total resistance will be six plus four, six plus four is 10. So the information is that we know we've got an eight volt supply and a 10 ohm total resistance. So let's put that into another triangle. Um, draw the triangle again. Okay, now just, Again, as a reminder, volts goes at the top, amps goes down here, and resistance is here. So let's just remind you again, the total resistance is six plus four, so that's 10. So total resistance is 10. And the voltage is eight for the whole circuit. All right, so we can do Eight up there. Okay, so now we've got to do a calculation. Eight divided by 10. So I'll show you that on my calculator. 
So I'm punching 8 divided by 10 equals 0 0.8. Okay, so we can write 0 0.8 in this box on the triangle now, 0 0.8. So we now know there's 0 0.8 amps flowing through the complete circuit. All right, so in this part of the circuit, or in fact, in the whole circuit, I should say, the current flowing in the complete circuit is 0 0.8 amps so that means that the current flowing in this part of the circuit is also 0 0.8 amps so if we go back to our original tri triangle pin that back up here so we now know we've got four ohms resistance so i put the four in there and we've just calculated that the current flowing through here is 0 0.8 amps so I'm just going to write in 0 0.8 amps. So now we need to do another calculation. And when the numbers are next to each other, we multiply them. So it's 0 0.8 times 4. I'll show you that on my calculator. So I'll punch in 0 0.8 8 multiplied by 4 equals 3.2. Okay, what I'm going to do now is we know the volt drop across this one is 3.2 volts. If we work out the volt drop across this one, the volt drop across that one plus the volt drop across this one should add up to our 8 volts. And that's just a, a way of double checking that we've got the answer correct. Okay, so uh, in the volt drop across this one will be, um, sorry, let's move that in so you can see. We know our amperage is, sorry, let's change color pen, 0 0.8, and the resistance on that one is 6 ohms. So write 6 in there, 0 0.8 times 6. We'll do that on the calculator. So I'll punch in 0 0.8 multiplied by 6 equals 4.8. Okay, so the volt drop across this resistor is 4. Point, get it right, sorry, 4.8 volts. And the volt drop across this resistor is 3.2 volts. So if we add those two together, 4.8 plus 3.2. So it's 4.8 plus 3.2 equals 8. It adds up to our supply voltage. Okay, so we know the answers are correct.